Hello. Welcome back, folks. Oh, I did press it. I pressed it too many times. How's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, we are at least temporarily shelving the old blue dragon. We've seen the combat. You get a good feel for it. The art style, the music, everything else. Speaking of music and art style. But yeah, Blue Dragon, it might be temporary, it might not, we'll see. But for now, I, I decided I finally want to get in with this. We've got anime, we've got some kind of post-apocalypse. Uh, we've got giant mecha robots. Atlas and Sagra, names I like to see on my on my weeaboo nonsense. I let's go in, shall we? Let's go in. Um, I'm not particularly a purist, and for the sake of um viewers as well, let's just stick it in English, I think. And if the dub's awful, which I doubt nowadays, um, but if it is, we can change it over. I'm sure. Says we can. I repeat, we interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. A large unidentified object has crash landed in the city. It is headed north toward Kasumicho, destroying everything in its path. A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately. Please defer to the police for further instructions. Oh. That's two characters off the main menu. Um. What? Start? Oh, no. I thought it was saying press start. Oh. Okay. Griggs, this might be another anime game. It might be. It's really happening. Just as you said. A kaiju attacked, like in that movie. <laughs> Pacific Rim or do what we have to do. Get in the robots and fight. Our fate was sealed a long time ago. Griggs, you asked that as if I finished Sonic Unleashed. Was that the werewolf one? Or werehog one? I played it. I certainly didn't finish it. I got stuck at one point and yeah, fuck that. Game was bad. Wait, where did your clothes go? Um, How do I move this thing? work it out, kid. -kun. Can you hear me? Gojo Senpai, what are you? Why are you in Sekigahara's Sentinel? Senpai, are you like Akun too? Did you come from the future? We can discuss that later. Do you understand the situation we're in? That area is under attack by D forces. I came here to fight. Time for a full rundown. We'll have to settle for the fundamentals. I don't know the rating on this. With your mind. Think of it as another body connected to your brain. Try to direct it. You can do it. Like this? <laughs> Whoa, it moved! But now my head feels weird. It's like scratchy or something. Okay. Oh, good. You'll also have a direct feed of information from the 
The skeletons seemed to really have a clue what was going on. D forces. I don't know if I'm doing this right. The power of the D. How's this? She's saying sin pie symbol, eh? Portrait with zero clothes. Yeah, but nothing's exposed. Uh we can look. What is it? Uh, does it say? Official website? I don't know. Too much effort. It's probably not. Uh, move the cursor over a pilot. Select with X. Action, destroy the enemy using our mounted machine cannons. Which one of those bars is my HP? Neither of them? What do I do? Oh, I have taken some damage. I just have a lot of HP. Action. Our mounted machine guns. Power 40 times 33. Seven seconds. Back attack multiplies it by one point. Okay. Why did they turn around on me, idiots? No machine guns on everything. In one area. You could use a wide impact armament, like the rocket oh, okay. What? What? Uh, okay. Rocket launchers? Oh, where's the rocket launcher button? Check your display. The rig is on your shoulders. Focus on them. My shoulders? Is this how I do it? Imagine trying to mentally... Focus on shooting rocket launches off your ship. Come on. Multi-rocket launches. I'll do it, though. Adjust the attack range with the stick. Multi-rockets. That's pretty good range, though. Look at that. Get wrecked. <laughs> All right. Tutorial. Interesting though. This isn't what I expected to see for gameplay. How did it sneak up there? Well, that was real damage. Okay. Kaiju, much scarier. Or the big ones, rather. Another friendo? So the game is 13 Sentinels. Um, she's Sentinel 15. Everyone gets naked, right. Can't help but note they aren't framing him though to show man butt. Juro Kurabe. Heavy knuckle. Attack the enemies in front while you move. Heavy knuckle. That's a cool animation. Alright. Uh, 
like like that. Oh wow. Punted. Oh, I gotta press something. All right. Me? So turn-based strategy, I guess. Jurakurabe story. We unlock one at a time, huh? Title screen, manual options. Let's leave that on for now. Auto advance is on anyway. Thought cloud controls. Alright, not going to worry about that. Oh, in case you fast forward to redo. Alright. We'll leave that on. Sure. sure. Alright. Manual save. Two percent blue, one percent red and yellow. Okay. Confusing. Yeah. Kind of getting a neon Genesis Evangelion vibe. It's not the same, obviously, but high, on, Let's go home. high school kids in giant robots. Oh, I do get to move. I thought that was just going to go full on visual novel. Although we aren't far off. This game's real pretty, though. What's up with him? Add it to the thought cloud. Uh, okay, we keep keywords. Select and contemplate. She becomes a bit of a class clown, but he's a good friend. I always talk to him about action flicks. Speaking of movies, I brought your video back. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Already? I just lent it to you yesterday. You wasted no time. Can you blame me? Giant robots fighting Wait. the city? Wait. I was on the edge of my seat. Was he watching Ava? <laughs> you sure love Mecha, don't you, Jiro? Some keywords can be used on other characters. Oh, that's nice. This UI is good. But then it's Vanillaware, I believe. So, they they always do beautiful hand-drawn stuff. Here you go. Well, let me know if you have any others to recommend. Sure, yeah. You really turned into a movie buff, huh? <laughs> do you think it's too much? Well, now that you mention it, I've been seeing the stuff in my dreams, too. Yep, definite movie addiction. You're showing all the signs. Soon enough, you won't know the difference between fiction and reality. Yeah, yeah. I think I've seen a movie about that. I can run. Oh, he's following me? Oh, look at him walk. Can I not talk to her at the front here? Oh, I can. I can move in and out as well. Yori. Hey, oh dear. Fuyusaka sounds asleep again. School's out for the day. Should I wake her up? Come to think of it, in that movie yesterday, 
The girl piloting the robot looked awfully familiar. Wait, did he watch the intro? Was that the film? Hmm. What's going on there? She always seems to be sleeping. It's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. She always seems to be sleeping, and then she sh I can't help but be- Sounds kind of creepy when he's whispering it like that, but anyone else? No one else seems to be a main character. Maybe one of these girls at the back? <laughs> that animation. Hold on a sec, Milico. Did you need something? Oh. Uh, Just really. loitering. So as I was saying. It's Nanjiku, right? Ew, no. Hey, by the way. I mean, it is. I a saw guy, that one but... video up for rent. Oh. Oh, the one you told me about the other day? That one video. Yep. Gonna rent it. I've got to. Oh crap. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. Alright, ladies. It's always something, isn't it? Didn't even mean to talk to him there. Wonder what he's up to. Let's try and check the stack of papers. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. What movie? Maybe without him here? Hey, Fuyusaka-san. Rise and shine. Uh. Huh? Class is already over. Kurabe-kun? Um, thanks. You were out cold, huh? Just now, I... I had another weird dream. With robots? And you were there. Huh? Me? What kind of dream was it? Well, um... Dude! Huh? This sucks, man. I can't find Amiguchi anywhere. Wait a I mean, minute. she probably we'll won't point out here. that we were both naked. You two are looking awfully cozy. I'll grow up. It's not like that. Hmm? Oh yeah? Then what's the problem? <laughs> Don't mind me. Carry on. <sighs> Sorry, Fuyusaka-san. Let's talk about this some other time. <sighs> y yeah. I'm going home now. Okay. See you tomorrow. Is, is that it? Bye. Deal with it. These animations. I know I shouldn't tease you like that. But it's your fault for keeping secrets from me. I was trying to pay attention to both things going on there. Maybe I can talk to her? No. We good to go? But seriously, Amiguchi. We gotta catch that guy in quick. Amiguchi. You wanna hang out again that badly? He's got all the good video games. Oh well, yeah then. Just waiting for me to play him. But the sucky thing is, he's never around unless you make plans. Amiguchi-kun's not the most responsible guy, but. He's smart, athletic, 
and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. Oh, well, that'll help, yeah. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. You know, the Amiguchi-kun usually grabs a snack on his way out. Maybe he's still around. Oh, in the cafeteria? That's right. He was there during break, too. Can I not? Oh, hi. What is it, Sawatari san? Those papers on the podium. I was trying to look at them. Did you take them to Miss Morimura in the nurse's office? Me? Well, it's your turn this week. Turn? To do what? Eh? Is this it? Y yes, that's right. Please take care of it. Paper delivery man. That's a bit weird. Stack of papers. Spade in the top right. Yeah, I mean, I looked. Jump. Interesting. Let's head to the cafeteria. Grab your stuff and come on. Um, about that. Got to do the papers thing. Oh, now I can. Ah. Sorry. I can't. These papers. I need to take them to Miss Morimura. Seriously? I'll do what you gotta do. But we're not giving up on Amiguchi, alright? I'm gonna head over to the cafeteria. There's always tomorrow. Bag and meet me there when you can. If he hadn't said that, I totally would have forgotten. Hold R1 to fast forward. Automatically pause on unread text. <sighs> Options, select manual. We're good. I don't think we have to go search in the room either. Uh, nurse's office. Oh, nursey. Excuse me. She's not here. More papers? What should I do with these papers? Can I just leave them here? <clears throat> There's Nani. a document with my picture on it. What is this? Nani Deska. What are we doing? What are we doing? Take a proper look. Take a peek. Yeah. Juro Izumi? It's my photo, but... The wrong name. The last name is wrong. I'm Juro Kurabe. <sighs> Symptoms. Psyche stabilized via drug administration. Patient is obedient. General good health. Drugs, huh? <laughs> Hello, nursey. Daddy likes. Hello, what? Oh my. Where are you looking, Karabi? What brings you here? Ah, just give them. I think you forgot these. Oh my. You brought them back for me? I was told it was my turn this week. I see. You're a good kid, Karabekun. Thank you. I appreciate the help. Shibakun's waiting for me. I should go to the cafeteria. Okay. Oh, one more thing. 
Kun. How is your current condition? Condition. My condition. You know. Any heart palpitations? Oh my. <laughs> the queer's eyes are. Are you getting enough sleep at night? Why do you ask? When Bri read to cold going around. At this time of year? That's a bit odd, isn't it? I'll give you some medicine just in case. No, thank you. I'm fine. Really. I see. If you'll excuse me. All right. Well, you're still here? Shiba-kun, what's up? Amiguchi wasn't in the cafeteria. Figured I'd try here. Well, guess that's all we can do. Let's drop by the video store on the way home. Come on. It's a constant winky face he has going on. Something wrong? Uh, he couldn't catch Amiguchi. The video store was a waste of time. This sucks, man. It's true that one video was already rented out. Uh. We didn't come back empty-handed. What, that old-ass kaiju flick? Daimos versus Mecha Daimos. Why have I got to press it now? Daimos versus Mecha Daimos. What's that about? What? Hmm? Is it going to be an everything was a dream deal by the end? It's a real masterpiece from 74. You and your giant robots. Hey, I got a flyer from the theater the other day. It showed what movies they're playing this month. Guess what was on there? The original Daimos. Do you want to go? Jeez, a hundred times wasn't enough for you? Did I accidentally turn off auto continue at some point auto scroll whatever sci-fi movie from 1954 heavy on the special effects hmm the first in what will become a long running series Let me double check that because I'm worried now. Why did that auto advance off? Toggle during gameplay with R2. Ah. Alright. I knocked R2 when adjusting. Got it. Where are we going? Can't go over the crossing. The Sentinel isn't responding. The Uracoon? The activation. I know I did it right. The sentinels must be the robots. What's his deal? You know this guy? Mirakun. Sure, Okun. What's wrong? Is everything all right? You look awful. What's with the get up? Do you feel sick? I'm fine. Glowy scar? Head. Did it just light up? Sorry, but you shouldn't touch it. My hand does what the same. The... My hand's lighting up too. No. What's going on? This is bad. Start. Sentinel number 13. Transmitting. Huh? Don't tell me. Are you? <laughs> uh, whoops, I just summoned a giant robot. Over there. He summoned a sentinel. Wait. It looks different. That's a robot from that movie. 
idiot. What are you doing? Wait, so they aren't built that? by people then if he summoned one from a film. Okino's damn code. He added a forced activation protocol. Well, this will be interesting. What? Are you? You leave me no choice. I'm gonna need you to forget about this for now. Huh? Shibakun? You erase my memory. Huh. Shiba Kun is not to be trusted. All right. Super sus. Hiori. So I can't rotate back round to Shiba. But I suspect eventually we will. Toast in the mouth, classic. Got it. I'm late. I'm late. I can't believe I slept through my alarm. Those weird dreams won't leave me alone. I'm losing beauty sleep. I'm almost there. Ow. Hey, you are and Sue. There we go. Am I? Oh no. The morning assembly. An uncanny resemblance. Huh? From the film? Did she drop this? A student ID. First year, Niori Fuyusaka. Hmm. Might be worth looking into. Why? Oh, the kitty cat. Cute little kitty cat. Yuri-chan. Uh, and good morning, sleepyhead. Uh, you are sound asleep. Class is over. The teacher kept giving you dirty looks. Didn't wake her though. Uh, you slept through the whole class. <laughs> I'm Kisaragi. Tell me, Kisaragi. Ah, uh, I'm Sawatari. And I'm Fuyusaka-san, right? I heard the teacher trying to call on you. This is 85. When was really? the other one? Oh, I didn't notice. I've barely even started my high school life. And this is how I make a first impression? Yuo-chan's my good friend. She's gentle, kind, loves talking about romance, even though she's shy with boys. Nice to meet ya. You too, Kisaragi-san. Call me Usami. Weird nickname, but I'm used to it. Is it weird? In that case, you can call me Iori. It's nice to be on a first-name basis. I'm Miwako. I like Miwako. Usami-chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and seems a bit weird, honestly. Where'd you go to middle school, Usami-chan? Oh, uh... You know, nowhere special. Kind of far away, though. Huh. Sorry, I have to ask. Usami-chan... Yeah? You and Goto-senpai, are you close? Goto? Goto? Nah, not really. Who? Why? Well, he's awfully popular here at school. Seriously? That guy? Jeez. So that's how it is. I saw you two talking in the hall earlier. 
Yeah, uh... Don't worry. He's not my type. Just an acquaintance. I see. Huh? Your forehead is red. Why? Oh, huh? all right. Oh, um, that'll do it. I kind of bumped into something. Oh, and that, yeah. Now the rest of your face is red. Huh? I wonder why. Well, uh, I really like the sun in the background. The guy I ran into is kind of cute, so. Geez, I feel awkward just thinking about it. Sounds like love at first sight. Really? Definitely. It was a destined encounter. You two are meant to be. Um, you think so? Maybe. And you can tell how free freehand it all is, the drawing, by that globe in the background really caught my eye about how not actually spherical it is. Um... Scared. Scared. Very, very pretty game. Who's the cute guy? What is this? My heart is racing. Oh no. I wish I could have talked to him more. He wasn't wearing our uniform, was he? Maybe he's from a different school. Uh we have considered the one guy. Just wonky. In fact, I'm going to leave that or it'll fuck up the webcam. We'll leave it. Um, <laughs> resist the urge. Anyone else to talk to? I don't think this is the same classroom as earlier either. You sure yawn a lot. Are you a night owl? Not really. It's just... I keep having strange dreams. They keep me up at night. What kind of dreams? It's hard to remember the details, but... Last night, I was surrounded by flames, like a burning city. This huge shadow started coming for me. And then I woke up. Uh... <sighs> keep going? No. Is it lunchtime yet? Oh no. Still out of it, I see. Just keeps yawning. Tell me that's red, so is that exhausted? Shall we walk home together? I'd love to hear more about this boy you met. Um You're welcome to join us, Usami chan. There's a new crepe shop we could stop by. Crepes? Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. The hell? Jeez, that door was impossible to open. How old is this place? She a? Gosh, Natsuno chan. Don't break the door. I didn't. This school is so old, it still uses hanging lamps. You don't see that every day. True. Is it your class next door, Not chan? Don't worry about it. I have to see your smiling faces. You know this girl? Yes, she's a good friend. Should I have the used the thing first, or? Great school. Natsuna chan, this is Usami chan. Last name Kisaragi. And I'm Natsuno Minami. Nice to meet you. We can still do it. Cool. Our school's pretty old. They were working on a new building for this year, but I heard construction was delayed. I think we'll be moving to the new one next month. Sure hope so. This place is a dump. I heard it was built during the war. Whoa. That means it's over 40 years old. Aren't a lot of school buildings that old? At oh, hello. There you are. She looks That's stern. Good. What are you doing in someone else's classroom? The teacher told you to prepare for the next class. Yeah, I know. Oh, 
Right. You know that cat we were talking about? I saw it. Really? Where? Outside the science room. Minami-san. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I think I know that kitty. The cat was a thing? It has black fur with a white belly, right? Yes. You've seen it too, Miwachan? All the time. Dang. No fair. I haven't seen it yet. It was right next to you. So it's behind the science room, huh? That's it. I'm gonna go looking. Okay. Mm. Guess that nap did her some good. Yeah, same one from earlier. I don't see it anywhere. <laughs> Where could it be? Where could it be? Oh! I found you! Hi, kitty! Looks like an angry kitty. Kitty cat? Nope. What are you doing hiding back here? Huh? Where'd it go? But why? Don't act like you don't know. It's Kurabe-kun with Amiguchi-kun. Hmm. We have something here. Amiguchi-kun, this isn't like you. Just listen, okay? This is a first for me, too. You feel it, right? Are those two? I want to pursue this with you. Really? Please. I don't know. It's just... Fuyusaka-san? <laughs> what is she doing here? I... Uh, mm -hmm. I think as long as you love each other, it's okay. Huh. What? Don't mind me! Bye! Wait! There seems to have been a misunderstanding. Was it? Or did she understand perfectly? <laughs> Me and this guy dating? Oh, all right. They're not. They're not <laughs> doing it. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. We were just talking about something. Yeah, the strange dreams we've been having. Dreams? So Amiguchi's in on it as well. You have two greens and a red. Every day I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. So you guys know each other? She sits in front of me in class. Yeah. So what are these dreams? It's like the character's well, voice, but really, robotic. It's been a lot of crazy stuff. Hmm. Different every time. I don't even think they're in chronological order. But they do seem related. Hmm. Weird thing is, same goes for this guy. It's like we're seeing the same stuff. The more he tells me, the more I think it all lines up. Makes you think our dreams are connected. Maybe we've just seen too many movies. Hmm. I guess we do have that in common. We first met at that video rental joint, after all. Still, I can't help but think it's something else. Especially if like, I don't know, three people are sharing dream. the same dream? If not that, maybe it's a vision of the future. The future? Anyway, I'm just saying. Whenever we dream this stuff, we should compare notes. Hmm. I know it sounds crazy. Do you believe us? Well, actually, I'm more surprised to hear that's all it was. Because I thought... Hmm, class is starting. We can talk more later. After we'll another nap. <laughs> Time to sleep through another class. 
We're just doing prologues right now. 3% off that, but 11% off the first one. Waves. Can't go left or right. Tutorial? Is this all tutorial? Is beginning at the end the title of the entire tutorial? I don't know. Oh, hey. No info. End up crushing its own components if it collapses. This big robot looks so tough. Is it really that useless if it falls over? Don't let your guard down. We have another wave of D forces inbound. You keep Is all the combat going to happen in like one day? the terminal how big's the shield there's the age ascent system okay That where nerve is under there. Make your way toward the terminal, which is the target. Select move. Battle start. There. it for X turns. Alright. We'll try. Warning. Dymo signatures identified. Enemy in range. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. What do we got? Must protect the terminal until the Aegis is activated. Top left is damage. Or if a pilot die okay. People can't die, that can't get defeated. Switch pilots with left and right. Little Deimos. G-Molar. Workers around it. Does it matter if I level half the city? Probably not. We've got range. Use it. 
Oh, I didn't see the other one. Oh, shit. I could only use this one. I can't actually swap. Sentry gun or that? Can I hurt my own units? We're about to find out, I guess. Doesn't look like it. Action machine guns. Can we finish you. One down. Are they fires? Huh. Was that a big hit? Charge EP. We don't need that right now. You can just shoot. Damage is grand. Uh, he dead. We got it. What was, was that a shield? We're all good. Oh. Third Sentinel. You're going to tell me who you are now. I believe that's Sentinel number 12, Okino's machine. I'm Takatoshi Hijiyama, and this is my Sentinel. Takatoshi Hijiyama. You were with Okino Kun before. I've come to save the human race. Leave this region to me. Can't remember who Okino is. Time to go back him up, I guess. I'll move to rendezvous. You two should keep going towards the next combat zone. Oh, wait. Which way is the next uh. It's this way. Follow me. Auto move. Victory. All right. We made it. We made it. Story is now available. So now we get Hijiyama's story. All right. Gonna get what half a dozen characters, maybe. Nineteen forty-four. Looks like they're starting to panic down there. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. That's huh? weird. Someone changed the shifter's access key, huh? Not that it matters. Kiriko son. Huh? So you came after me, Hijiyama kun. This has to be some misunderstanding. You can't be a spy, can you? Hmm. Sounds like the professor, all right. Oh. Anything else around? No. Why did you run off? The military's looking for you. So time travel, I'm assuming, they right? I think you stole some kind of intel. But you are the professor's daughter. You can't be a spy. It doesn't make sense. Sorry to break it to you. I'm not his daughter. The real Kiriko Doji is still over in Tokyo. What? But the whole spy thing's kind of a stretch. I don't need to steal any secrets on the Sentinels. I'm the one who built them, after all. 
Oh, they are man-made then. But this kid. Professor Doji led the Sentinel project for our efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came Which war? With him, but what does it mean if this isn't her? Sentinel. Is she serious? She says she built the Sentinel herself, but... What are you talking about? What happened to you? That's about what I figured you'd say. Why, why are we in 1940s Japan? If you're not the real Kiriko, then... Then who are you? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. Maybe. This really isn't about who I am. Maybe it's just about what you feel towards me. I, uh, <sighs> I'm not sure I believe this. You built them? Yeah, that was me. I drew up the designs in an editor. Then I just had to send the order into an automated factory. Uh, automated robot That's... factory? No, you're probably just confused. That's all. Although if we're time traveling, she could be from in the future. ...component into your head. Though you wouldn't remember, of course. Anesthesia and all. When you came to the factory, you said you were there on behalf of the professor. It was as good a cover story as any. Which factory? We're definitely missing a lot of parts of this story right now. You're kind of a simple guy. There's something about you, though. What are you even saying? I'm saying I'm going to miss you. But my key just finished decrypting. <gasps> so that's it. This is goodbye. All right, time travel it is. Kiriko-san? She vanished? That's impossible. Unless this... version of Meaty here is from the 40s? Forwards, no. Left. Salmon. It was barely a moment. She can't have had time to run into the mountains. Where did Kiriko-san go? Hmm. Oh, someone's coming. Oh, he's the one who snuck into the factory. There's something fishy about him. Which factory? The what? robot factory? If he's working with her, then... 40s Japan have a robot factory? know where she's gone. I'll hide behind a tree and see what he's up to. Oh, you want me to do it? All right. Tokisaka Shrine, huh? Hmm. If this log is right, Okino just crossed over. I might still catch up if I'm fast. Coordinates read Sector 4 in the year 1984. So that's Karabi. Give it up. Who There's also time travels. Doji. Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for our efforts in the war. His, what does it mean if this isn't... I taught him first. Hijiyama. So you're the spy. But there's no escaping me now. <sighs> what are you doing here? If I told you, you'd laugh in my face. Answer me, or I'll do more than laugh at you. I'm going to time travel to another era. Yeah. <sighs> Is that a joke? Or are you just insane? <sighs> He's just playing games with me. Time travel? Really? This is reality, not some penny dreadful. Maybe he is from the 40s then. You know Kiriko Doji? Yeah. I knew it. 
Though that wasn't actually her, of course. Is that really true? She said something along those lines too. So she, huh? the ability to assume somebody else is born? The real guy name is Sukasa Okino. He wears that stuff for his own reasons. What? Don't joke about that. For funsies? You're just trying to confuse me. This can't be true, can it? Was the Kiriko Doji I knew really a man? This Tsukasa Okino? There's no point explaining myself to you. Alright, use that then. You're going to time travel, huh? Try a better story next time. This Kiriko Doji of yours? He did it himself just moments ago. Yeah. He from here into the future. How did you not catch it? It wasn't very subtle. I'm not falling for your lies. I don't have time for this. Step back. I'm going after him. Well, so you do know where she went. Where? Show me. You don't want to get caught in this shift. Keep your distance. Get dragged into the right, future? You're Time travel. I'd like to see you try it. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, well. Guess he's... Guess, guess... Yeah, he's going forwards. <laughs> that head. Oh. Alright. <laughs> this crew. He knows you'd beat his ass watching Masan. Probably shit in his pants right now. Turned tail and ran, huh? Guess he didn't have the balls after all. Whoa, hold it. What? Yeah, what? Same guy. His hair grew out. And he's got an outfit change. Noodles stir fried in sauce, enfolded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much in this post war world. But if there's one exception, it's my yakisoba bon. Noodle sandwich. Sounds weird. Don't give me that shit. Nearly knocked my friggin' arm out of its socket. <laughs> You want to apologize? Nah. Oh, did I hit you? Sorry about that. You're sorry? Sorry don't pay my goddamn hospital bills. Your so, dislocated arm. I don't have money, if that's what you're after. Wait, Wajima-san. I heard about him. People have been talking about this guy. He's the one who's been snatching all the jackets. Wait, what jackets? School jackets? Yeah. Why? This guy's wearing one of our uniforms. Oh, so you know the guy who owned this. Oh, okay. I don't have any relatives around. I'm basically homeless at the moment. So the clothes and the cash were a really big help. Right, right. He was a generous guy. Tell him I said thanks. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Come on! My sandwich! My yakisoba pun. I didn't even get a single bite. So you chose death. You just made a big mistake, punk. You got a problem with me, buddy? You're the one who's about to have a problem. Summon giant robot to punch him. You heard him, boys. Sick him. Five on one, yeah? You're gonna look real pathetic when you still lose. Yeah. Stop! We're sorry! Look! We'll get you another snack, man! I've got no mercy for people who waste food. Especially Yaki Silva Pond. What the hell happened? I thought you called me up for a fight, Wajima. Uh someone want to tell me what i missed here 
Then who are you? The friend of theirs? I'm Nenji Ogata from Sakura High. Nenji. I didn't ask you to fight my battles, pal. Who had that name coming up? Who had that name? Is it this guy here whose name I've forgotten? Wait, it's you. You're that jacket snatcher. Uh, Hijiyama or something. Takatoshi Hijiyama. Yeah. At your service. Taka. I told them I didn't need the help, but they wouldn't take no for an answer. Yeah, I'll bet. Drop the tough guy act already. I could say the same thing. Don't go picking fights you can't win. I've heard enough, douchebag. And you owe me a fight. Wait, what? Why? Come at me. Come at me, bro. Well, you're gonna regret it. <gasps> Kid with a cowlick. Come at me. Bring it. Meanwhile. What the? Well, look at this. I guess you fit right in here in the eighties. Here, I figured I'd have to check up on you. What? I know that voice and that face. Wait, that's the guy who. Oh no. When he's not fight, pretending to be a girl. Man. Out of my way, damn it! That's the guy who made the robots, right? It's almost done. This is about where I last saw him. He has to be close by. Wants to send me up those that stairs, I'm sure. Like a horse. Pretty tough for a thug. Kicked you in the neck? He almost had me for a moment there. Can we look in the windows? Not much going on. Just here then. Nothing. Kind of surprised. Oh, there we go. Huh? The real one? No. Guess you found me. Kiriko son. Were you looking for me all night? Still as reckless as ever, huh? <clears throat> Don't try to talk around it. I... I know who you are under those clothes. I figured you'd be here soon, so... Oh, is it I just clothes? Nothing more complex than that. Half a year I've been searching for you. Half a year thinking of what I'd say to your face. I got you some yaki soba pond. You didn't get any yesterday, right? You got Yaki Soba Pond for me? Hey, look, that, that's not the point. What is the point? Take me back to my own time. Oh, right, okay. We're going, whether you like it or not. And if I say no, what'll you do? Push me over? Pin me down? I would never. Besides, you're a man, aren't you? You don't seem sure. Why don't you find out? Uh, Called out. This can't be true, can it? Was the Kiriko Doji I knew really a man? This Tsukasa Okino? Kiriko Doji. Why disguise yourself as Kiriko san? Even convincing everyone you were a girl. Professor Doji thought it'd be a good idea. See, he's... Well, all Shikishima's tech really began with him. Shikishima made incredible... Shiki Shiki, right. And a lot of that was thanks to his work. Though it didn't hurt that I taught him about his future's technology. 
But why? Why would you make that deal with him? For the Sentinel. But there's a lot of Sentinels, unless Mark I is an just one original Sentinel. Let's do that first. So you're actually Tsukasa Okino. Why do you wear women's clothes? Doesn't feel great to hear you say it like that. You weren't complaining when you confessed to me. <clears throat> I'm not exactly the picture of masculinity anyway. Better than trying to pass as some militant with a buzz cut. So why are you dressed like that now? Because I know you like it. Uh. You're a funny guy, Hijiyama-kun. <clears throat> let's say some binaries work for me and others don't. This lets me hide the fact that I'm even alive. You're not meant to be alive? Go ahead. I'll hear you out. Well. Alright, Sentinel. So what did you plan to do with the Sentinel? It was an accident that it showed up at all. It was never meant to be there. I mean, come on. You've seen it. You think they could make that back in the 1940s? Right, they accidentally made one pop Even up. Here in the 80s, it's out of our league. That's not human craftsmanship. It was made in the future, in an automated factory. Let me put it in layman's terms. So... There was an incident, and it got broken. Our goal was to fix it there, so it could fight again. But wasn't it meant to be used against the USA? Uh... Then who or what was it made to fight? So, as far as I can tell right now, there's a factory in the future that's fully automated. And if somebody in the past, or present, I guess, but past of the future, um, makes a blueprint and sends it through time, which I guess could just be leaving it on a server somewhere, uh, the factory produces it and then they have the ability, I guess, to call it back through time. You're a good guy, but kind of an open book, you know that? Say whatever you want. I don't care who you really are anymore. Just get me home. I know about the air raids and Okinawa, Hiroshima, Nagasaki. I can't just let those attacks happen. I can't let those people die. So you did some reading in the history section. Mm. Between all the manual labor you've been doing, and your living conditions, or, well, lack thereof. You're a lot more determined than I expected. You've been keeping tabs on me. I do have one suggestion. There's something I still need to do. And that something is here in 1985. I just need you to wait until that's finished. Actually, I'd really appreciate your help with it. It does involve you, after all. When it's uh. finally all over, then you can ask me to do whatever you want. How's that sound? Mm. Look at him blush. Anything I want? No, I. What I want is to go back to my own time. So if we just Maybe take sure. a skirt and a wig to make this guy keep forgetting he's talking to a dude. Um. I'm not even one who identifies as a woman, it's just just a cover. Uh, but yeah, it sounds like they took one of the Sentinels back in time for some reason, possibly a fight. It broke. They needed to fix it, so they got the locals in on it who thought it was to fight the war against America and then got a bit pissy maybe when that, that wasn't how it was going down. Although imagine, imagine if World War II had culminated in a giant Japanese robot storming across the states. History books would be a lot more interesting. Still, think it over. My base is 
over there on the second floor. Where are you going? I'm wearing the uniform. Where do you think? Oh, right. Your yakisoba palms on the desk inside. Yakisoba. Wow, was that your stomach? You haven't eaten anything since yesterday, huh? Go ahead. The door's unlocked. What about... The uniform. I can't, yeah, I've got to get the Yakisoba first. Oh, we don't actually go inside. Noise. Noodles stir fried in sauce, enfolded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much. Where do you go now? Maybe he really was just manipulating me. I mean, he completely distracted you well, with snack. It is yucky soba pan. Not much I could do. Couldn't possibly have said no. Well, as long as I've got it. <clears throat> so good. The sauce is so sweet. Yeah, it's so spicy. Mm. I'd hit the spot. Mm, gotta make me hungry. If he's in that uniform, he's probably going to school. But what's he trying to accomplish there? So I think the green squares are things to consider. And the red ones are links to make between the thought cloud and people. For now, I should find Okino again. It won't do me any good if he slips away. Can't we just wait in his base? I might as well check my old school. Fourteen percent. These percentages are all over the place. Seemingly devoid of any real meaning. <laughs> we got eleven, and then anyway. If we could deploy them in the mainland war, they could instantly turn the tide. You reckon? That war's been over for decades, Hijiyama-kun. You can stop worrying about it. We will never stop until our foes lie dead. I'm not about to forget my duty, Yokino. Where to next? Don't get ahead of yourself. We're not done here. Reinforcements. I see kaiju gathering from across the whole city. I'll release some more drones to expand our search range. Good. Leave the fisticuffs to me. What I'm worried about is the G-molars in the back. You see them? Jamolar? Is that what you call the big round ones? Jamolar. No, G-molar. As in, with the letter G? It stands for... You know what? Never mind. A G molar is a dimos built for excavation. It uses the spinning blades on its back to dig into the ground. They need to bore a path to the terminal. It's the core of their strategy, and we need to stop them. Right, so we can't let them a drill down. Like that? All I need is one strike to take that one out. They can withstand intensely high pressures and break through any rock. If you underestimate it, you're the one who's going to get taken out. Is that where they're headed? We've yes, not even started investigating what these the things are, where they're from. But your Sentinel's a first gen, which means more mobility. That'll come in handy here. Can you take Melee a look drone? on your way there? I don't have much choice. We're going in. Uh, destroy all kaiju, protect the terminal. Using powerful armaments will consume energy. Replenish by defeating enemies or use the command here. Yeah. Can't move when you defend. Use the leap. I'll make it work. 
I have 50, we have 550 max, so that's 11 uses. I can leap to a worker, but not any further. Yo. I was still hit an area. I keep leaping probably right that's getting close and then we can cover the cover the terminal should I not should I not have destroyed the civic structures no we're in there though Maybe not that. That, maybe? The molars are the bigger threat. Uh, think that gets them. Get punted. See the one coming up behind us. Not so worried about that. We'll charge back at him in a minute. How's that? Try again. I guess life comes at you fast. Uh Power five hundred. Power eight hundred. Get here. Oh, new friendos. Multiple new friendos. Is there no end to them? Looks like I made it in time. I'm going to activate Aegis before they overwhelm us. You're that guy from before. What are you scheming? I won't allow it. Wait, Kijiyamakun. Let him handle this. Are you sure? He's about to do something to the saucer. It's all part of the plan. Besides, there's something I want us to try. What's that? Fine. I trust you. The terminal has a few defense mechanisms in place. Now that we've got access to them, you should be able to command them yourself. Oh? Let the terminal attack the kaiju directly. We can make the saucer itself attack them. Terminals Let's give this one a shot. have auto defenses. Meta skills, meta chips from enemies, meta gauge will increase. Currently max, all right. Uh, menu with triangle. Halts movement and drops aerial kaiju. Oh, that's, that's a large area. All right. That was effective. What did you just do? The terminal forced a shutdown of designated targets within range. So they're robotic as well then. Let's fire off some more of those. Don't know if we can do that, but we have a couple other tricks up our sleeve. Let me take a look. Uh, the only meta, st meta skill we can currently use is the EMP. I only do it once. Once terminal enhancements are available, we can unlock and enhance various skills. Did they run away? Unbelievable. I'm acting like an amateur. Ah, I see. We've got to move down the path. Eh. So can I try and limit damage to the surrounding area, maybe? Kinda. 
A lot of these areas look wrecked. We can't get that far. We really move that far. How about this far? Number twelve, moving out. I guess life comes at you fast. Oh, maybe it's just the duration it takes to do that. Three seconds, four seconds. Get punted. Kablam. Is that it? Damn it. That's a lot of shit. Oh. Aegis activation confirmed. Ah, the shield. All the hostiles in range destroyed themselves. Like magic. If we had that kind of weaponry, you should have told me. Why bother with the sentinels when we have this? It takes time to activate, and if we get taken out before it's ready, then it's all over. It means the terminal would be fully locked down. Nobody could ever open it again. Is that a bad thing? Are they time terminals? Terminals. Terminals. Pilots from Sector Five. Who are you communicating with? I'd really rather not deal with this. Don't tell him, Hijiyama-kun. Uh -huh. Are they the others? Are being activated in another location. Number 17 and number 19. Wait. Just how many sentinels are online now? How does no one have a So we made it through. Have an account for all these sentinels wandering around. Who's just handed out sentinels to kids? <sighs> oh yeah, we good. Not to know. Yeah, just getting Naoto vibes off this one. Got four characters, evenly spaced. Uh -huh. Hmm. Still in eighty five. Not that way. Minami -san. Oh. Nachan. Nachan. What are you guys talking about so seriously over here? N nothing really. Just talking about what our dreams were last night. Oh yeah? Anything interesting? Not especially. Just wondering about stuff. Like if dreams are influenced by the movies we see. Oh, yeah. That video you asked for the other day. I was just about to bring it to you. No way. Yes. Also likes martial arts films. Thanks a bunch. Oh, no, it's the robot stuff, right? I was super bummed, you know. I couldn't record last week's UFO oh. mysteries. Oh. That baseball game was going on for freaking ever. Special series airing on TV. All about the latest UFO discoveries. I'm so glad I got a recording of it. I haven't watched the video you lent me yesterday yet. Come on! You gotta watch EXT! It's a classic. I saw it in the theater three times at least. You can't talk about aliens without seeing that movie. I don't really intend on talking about aliens anyway. <laughs> A very good Thanks point. For recording this. No problem. Bet you're thinking, here she goes about those UFOs again. <laughs> hmm. No, not at all. Vacant look. An alien stranded on Earth establishes a bond with a young boy in this sci-fi movie. It's a real 1982 classic. 
Hmm. Is it... Is it uh, copyright free ET we're discussing here? Instead of EXT. Bet you're thinking, here's the known. You'd be the same if you watched this. They're already here on Earth, you know. Yeah, they look like octopuses and want to destroy us all, right? No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. That's from a book. Oh. You're thinking of the War of the Worlds. Oh, right. Easy mistake. <laughs> oh, not John. There's no stopping you once you get going on this stuff. Just watch. One of these days, I'll work for NASA. And I'm going to find a real alien. And you're going to have to get better grades in science then. Oh, man. You're right. Better grades in everything to work for NASA. Aim high, though. Why not? Classic sci-fi novel by that one famous writer. It features Martians that look like octopuses. Do they? They have three-legged weapons called tripods. Right, right, yeah. They use them to invade the Earth. I'll get this back to you soon. Take your time. See Honestly, you can't remember what the actual aliens look like. See you later. I just remember the tri tripod spaceship things Show with the discs. Stuff. Uh, hi. Yuki -chan. Oh. Yukiko? Huh. You still haven't gotten your new uniform yet? Oh. Yeah, who the hell knows? But never mind that. What are you smiling about? Something good on that videotape? Oh, this? <laughs> Come on, tell me. Nope. You're gonna laugh at me. Come on, tell me. Uh, we do that. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. It's a recording of a TV show on UFOs. A friend let me borrow it. <laughs> that explains it. Glad to see Dr. Space is still alive and well. I'm weird, aren't I? Of course not. It makes me happy, actually. To know you're still my notch on. <laughs> but Just like, don't call me very Dr. similar Space relationship anymore. to Naoto and Yukiko. I've grown our kid nicknames, don't you think? <laughs> Whatever you say. Why, why am I just getting P4 vibes from this? Oh, God. So that Kuri gang you beat up, they're hanging around our school now. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> what are you, my mom? Huh? I'm no damsel in distress. Mm. I can take care of my own shit. So beat it, pinhead. What did you say to me? Fine. Okay, chill out, Ogata-kun. You don't need to start a fight in the middle of the hallway. I didn't start anything. She's the one walking around here like she owns the place. Come on, you too, Yuki-chan. <sighs> Fine. Sorry, Nachan. <laughs> what the? Well, that was anticlimactic. All right. Why, why do you need a climax? Yuki-chan. <laughs> Don't worry. That stuff happens all the time to me. Oh, by the way, can I come watch you practice again today? Sure. There's the bell. Better get back to class. See you soon. Back this way. Run in. Meow. All right. I think we're good. Still in the prologue, really, anyway. Does she not get a robot fighty scene? Oh. Fast as ever, Natsuno. <laughs> get a 
better time today? Oh. Well, it was kinda windy today. Running against it and all, you know how it is. <laughs> Throughout the John's early. Hey, first year. Oh. Hi. What's up, Senpai? Me and the manager have to go and talk to the teacher. There's things to discuss about the next meet. Sorry, but could you handle the cleanup today? Okay. Um Where do I go to do that? Huh? Where did everybody go? Am I the only one still here? Huh? Shady guy on Suspicious campus. Man. Wait, another? I saw a couple of them in the schoolyard too. I wonder what they're doing here. Seems like they're looking for something. Hmm. Men dressed in black suits. <gasps> Wait a minute. Could they really be men in black? Oh, of course and she's gonna have organization that monitors alien activity. All right. Maybe. A lot of film There's references no in this. That's landed near here. A lone alien left behind by a UFO. A lot of film references. Being pursued by relentless men in black. Its only hope is to be rescued by one chosen Earthling. As long as they don't start using neuralizers. Man, what a story that would be. Whoa. Sheesh, watch where you're going. Haven't seen Running from the men in black. Before. Wonder what school he goes to. Does no one wonder more about kids from other schools wandering around? It would have been weird if a kid from a different school turned up in my school when I was, you know. Don't want Senpai to get mad. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. <sighs> Finally done. Secret agents rumored to deal in the extraordinary and silencing those who witness UFOs. They call them men in black. No one really knows much else. So, bit of a conspiracy theorist, maybe. This Nachan. Uh, I'm too tired to change. Maybe I'll just go home in my gym clothes. I am pretty sweaty. Uh. uh what was that? Yeah, I didn't think that was going to happen. Who's hiding in the laundry basket? Or is it the cat? Something's in there. Could be the cat. A... Uh, wait. What? Wally? Here? Yeah, you. Fuck you doing walking in here. Still totally dressed. You were. Hey, what the heck? Wow. What are you doing barging into the girls' locker room. I heard you scream. I was just coming to help. Plus, all those creeps in black suits. Been seeing them everywhere. So I thought. You're the only creep around here, you moron. Get out of here already. Damn, try to do something nice around here. But what about Wooly? Um, hey there. <laughs> this is wild. Excuse me. No way. Immediately it's demanding us. sexual gratification. Bit forward. Oh man. This is just like the movies. BJ eleven five. 
Obvious conclusion to draw, yeah. Hey there, little guy. Oh, did I scare you? It's okay. I'm your friend. Hmm. Can you understand me? You and I are friends. It's going in weird directions. Oh, less like Wally, -E, more like um What were the mini metal gears in MGS4? Those those that like the, there was the one that followed you around. What was its name? I can't remember. Reminds me of that though. Welcome to Earth. I can't believe this is really happening. My dream is finally coming true. Yes. Oh right, yeah. That makes sense. Ben and Black are after this thing. Black suits all over campus. It's just like that one movie. They must be here to capture this alien. Just like ET, huh? The they were looking for. This explains it. And that means. And that means. I must protect him. All right. BJ, is that your name? My name is Natsuno. In a Lassiter code matched. What? Hmm? Natsuno. Yeah, that's me. Is this what summons the Sentinels? His name is BJ. His mission was to protect Earth from other evil aliens. Was it? Or are you just assuming? I don't mean to be rude. Is that a spacesuit you're wearing? Like, is your brain inside of a jar or something? Not enough. Need memory cell. That's amazing, BJ. Where'd you learn how to speak my language? Go to gate. Gate? I'm not sure I Which understand gate? What you're School about. gate? But it's okay. Or time yeah, gate? The movie. You need to call your home planet, right? And then a UFO is going to come and rescue you. Don't worry. I'm going to help you. Uh, are we though? Wow. Oh, like a shrine gate. Okay. You want to go there? I know exactly where that is. It's a shrine near school. Handy. Whoa, wait. And he's off. Just go walking out like that. The black suits would spot you in a second. In the bag. Also, let's check this out. The location BJ pointed out on the map. It's a shrine nearby the school. My pee bag. Yeah. This music's so good. A bag given out by the school. It can fit more than it looks. Including a robot? Maybe he can fit in here too. Maybe. Well, I think we can walk around while thinking. Alright, get in the bag. Sorry about the tight fit. Fits like we're playing an adventure game. Nuh uh, you gotta keep your head down. I'll get you to where you need to go. ET memes all over Stand this. Tight, okay? 
Even the blanket over the head. All right. Uh, let's go. To the shrine. <sighs> okay. It doesn't seem like we were followed. Uh... This is it. Tokisaka Shrine. This place has been here forever. A pretty Wait. Good hiding place too, now that I think about it. Is this where we were in front of in I the forties? Who would have thought somewhere like this? I think it is, right? Was really a hub of extraterrestrial alien activity. With um Taka. Oh. Hmm. Let Buddy out. Let him go explore. Right. We're here, BJ. Oh. What is all this? So bright. So time travel has to be from certain places? Access code approved. I've never seen anything like this. Except in the freaking Oh, bye. It's like we're both going. Wow. What time would it be? Awesome, 40s? You just, you just stood there and went with it. It's one way to play it. Forwards. Ah. BJ, wait up! Don't leave me behind. Stuff has happened at some point in time. Some very serious stuff. We assume it's just the time that's changing and not the location. That seems to be the case. Jeez, this is getting pretty crazy even by dream standards. One second we're at the shrine, then we're surrounded by this weird light. And now we're in this place? Is that the sun in the background or just in a radiated glow? Or could be the city on fire? Thinking about it. That would fit. To the city? Too many kaiju it battles. Like there was a war. <sighs> There's more? The government has released a statement at 5.40 p.m. Japan time. Communications with major cities around the world have not yet been restored. It is likely that these cities have also come under attack Pietary invasion. Enemy that has hmm. Japan. Domestically, multiple locales are reporting serious damages. Currently, the unknown enemy has made landfall, swarming a large area across the bay. They are now thought to be headed in the direction of Kasumicho in Sakura Ward. To reach the terminal. That was news footage. But why do they want the terminal? Wait. Near our school. Is this. Are we in my town? I think so. I need to know more. It's hard to War of the Worlds. We have to understand. What can only be described as monsters have descended upon our town. It's quite difficult to comprehend. I see five, six, Seven? No, there's more every time I look. What are they? Some say we are finally witnessing a takeover of aliens from space. Could this really be the end of humanity? Will our species not live to see past 2064? 2064, okay, we have a future date. That's when the war is. future 80 years to be exact this can't be real can it hey where are you going oh that's a cool looking power power uh mass pylon pylon Ooh. What? What are those? 
Time to call Sentinel. They look tougher than what we've been fighting. A monstrous tripod higher than many houses, striding over the young pine trees and smashing them aside in its career. A walking engine of glittering metal striding now across the heather. The War of the Worlds. They have four legs, so they're not tripods. It's important. Those things do have one extra leg, bud. No, it's a key distinction. Like the tripods. No, no, not at all. Weapons used by aliens to invade Earth. And now they're destroying my home. Is this really happening? Was Earth really attacked by aliens? Do they want to destroy humanity? Jay, why? Why did we come here? Why are they here? Yeah, I know, but what is that? You're looking for this? Sentinel. Sentinel number 17. Uh oh. Uh oh. Might want to call that Sentinel. Just an idea. We gotta get out of here. Okay. Updated one. Huh? What's updated about? Progress... Oh, it's percent per character. Right, so she's 12%. Makes sense now. How am I doing here, Raccoon? Anything I'm screwing up here? Doing just fine, Natsuno-san. You're a natural. This was his last gift to me. I gotta do this right so I don't let him down. Who's gift? Don't we have a bunch of bad guys everywhere already? Should we really be deployed all the way out here? Our sentinels were designed chiefly for long range attacks. I was taught that my primary tactic should be long distance annihilation. Mm. Never give them a chance to close in. <sighs> so if they do get too close, that's bad news? Well, we've got electromagnetic battering ramps for both arms in case of close quarters combat. Well, that sounds good. But we can't let them surround us. I don't know if we could fight our way out of that. Okay. Got it. Warning. Dymos signatures approaching. Dymos spotted. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. They're coming. Miracle, they're coming. What do we do? Should we shoot? Stay calm, Natsuno-san. Get a clear look at the opposing forces. The enemy may have more numbers than us, but we can hit them all in one fell swoop. We shoot in a line or something. I'm, I'm kind of shook up here. We'll be okay. We can use the electromagnetic rounds. Shake them up instead. Look, me, Raccoon. More in a line. line. Yeah. <sighs> Bet that works for us. I'm in the perfect position. There we go. Uh, main battery heavy rail gun. Stay calm. Remember your training. Long range missiles. Heavy rail gun. Shoot. Noise. Yeah, we'll, we'll be using that. Bye. They don't stand a chance. Take that. Threat suppressed. That was awesome. You got them all in one shot. That electromagnetic round has the power of a salvo from 46 centimeter battleship mounted cannons. But a weapon that powerful comes with high energy costs and high risks to match. If you don't use 
use it carefully, you might end up out of power at the worst possible moment. Alright, power conservation during longer encounters is going to be a thing. Destroy Kaiju. Also, have a heavy railgun. Oh, we need to be in there, otherwise time progresses. Uh, how do I? Well, I've got cannons. That hits a couple of them. Got the ones in front more than the ones behind, though. Think that gets a fair chunk of them. Enemy signal terminated. When's my go? Uh, we should be fine. They're not going to last long enough. Don't last long enough. Yeah. That's a lot. This isn't good. Looks like they're deploying wide range attackers of their own. I see a target. Yeah, all right. Sentinel's data. Maybe we have a dossier in here somewhere. And there we go. A surface wrecker, colloquially called a twin tail. Is that all we have? They don't look particularly alien. Everyone's here. What's going on? Thank you, Jiro Kun. I couldn't have asked for better support. We have to defend the terminal until the systems activate. Nachan, let's do this together. Uh, second generation model for you, Saka pilots, can we support units, which are armaments that can be positioned. Uh, once positioned, they go automatically. Action sentry gun. Where do I want to put that, though? Where do we want to drop it? There? Uh, there's a nice line over there, but I can't do much with it. Long range missiles. We get them? Good volley. Oh, Is that a missile in the air? Attack from a distance using missiles. Can be evaded by moving or intercepted with attacks. Uh, we could shoot it or we could not. It's 
coming from an army, I think. I want to try shooting them. Is that targeting the one up top as well? Let's try it. Oh, another missile. Uh, that hit the one in the air? I think so. Here we go. Take that. Got one. Sentinel gun is working. Right. Give it some of that. We don't need to move a whole lot. Ah, oh, another missile. Shoot him out. Got it. Gonna be okay. Definitely. Gotta keep my spirits up. Gotta keep Do I even? Or I could just pew pew. light distance on it too interesting unless that's more just a marker for looking around finish these two off he did I see more missiles I'm not a fan I'll need to take those out at some point the range on that gun Pretty damn impressive. No, nope, not much range there. Do I move up? While you're doing that. That rail's gonna, rail gun's going to hit both of those. Take out the tower building, but... Not my concern. I don't know if it affects anything. I'm assuming not right now. Now we need to move. Move up there. Any more missiles? No. Long range missiles. We can take care of them. Oh. Oh, the turret finished it. game will increase in difficulty as it goes on. Oh, I could have used the meta gauge. I forgot about that. Eh, it's fine. Oh. Megumi. More than four characters. But not 13. Seemingly. Despite 13 Sentinels being the name. 2024. Oh. Aw, lame. 
Wait. Why is Kisaragi here in 2024? Or is that when that was taking place? Did I not realize? This is usually a good shortcut, but it is mm. so gross today. Muddy as heck. My shoes are soaked. Hmm. What's up? You look bummed. It's nothing. Thinking about how no one talks to you again. Is that what's got you down? It's just because you're so quiet, Megami. People take that as you thinking you're better than them. Or that you're cold and distant. Not sure which is worse. They just need to get to know the real Megami. The one who's a hopeless romantic. Mm. And a cool, laid-back girl just like everyone else. Maybe then they'd have an easier time talking to you. Hey, you should try posting videos online like me. It could really help you come out of your shell. Maybe. I think I'll pass. Maybe. <laughs> she's saying she's got a YouTube channel. Go, go remember to click like, comment, and subscribe. You really are great at singing, Tommy. Ah. You watched my Inaba Rabbit video? Mm -hmm. I never knew you were so talented. <laughs> Well, you're in luck. I'm posting a new one when I get home. Hmm? Nanny. What is it? Did you see that? There was a light. I saw it in the water. Probably just a car headlight. Or a robot. Could have been a giant robot. Hey, look, I was right. That was animated quite nicely. Not that I'd expect anything less. Notice of the robot. There we go. Oh, crap. We could have totally died just now. What even is that thing? Could it be a piece of an airplane? Big old airplane. That's not it. But what then? Oh, this is wild. I gotta document this. Camera phone? Also soaked, probably. Although, 2024, they're probably all waterproof by then. A light. It lives. And it's moving? Uh, this seems dangerous. What if it, like, blows up? We gotta report this to the police. Uh, right. It does seem like... Evangelion crossed with... Pacific Rim teleported inside. I cannot leave. Oh, hi. forward 40 years I must have been forcefully shifted here huh the front line's been broken it's over it's all over has he come back from 2064 
that where the front lines are? Um, should I call an ambulance? Uh, who are you? Oh, um, I'm just from the school nearby. No, then that means. Oh, so that's his mech. Next. Wait, what? I'm Juro Izumi, and I've come from the future. This timeline, they're coming. Wait, it said somebody had Izumi's sentinel, right? I guess he dies here. Half a year later. In 85, she's gone back 40 years. Kitty cat. A cat? Oh, it looks so fluffy. Come here, Fluffy. Cat says no. Are you all right? You look a little lost. What's Morimura's deal gonna be? I was just thinking. In 1985, the West Building doesn't even exist yet. Does Morimura know? Why are you comfortable talking about that with her? to see you just one last time one last time they're coming and number 13 is the only one that can still fight i have to go N no you can't they won't let you taking back that robot trying to fight by yourself it's not a good plan juro you couldn't defeat them even with all your friends. It's true. I don't know if I'll be able to protect you all. But I can't do nothing. But you haven't even recovered yet. Megami, I really am grateful to you. So, this is goodbye? Uh, I hope that it's not, but... Megami, this is bad. Uh... Juro Izumi. They're here, just like you said they would be. And now monsters are flooding the port in droves. <sighs> right. Megami, tell me. I've told a woman named Morimura about you. Ah. Uh. When the time comes, you must listen to what she says. Yakushiji san? I need you to stay focused. So she is in on it. Morimura. How is Juro doing? You must forget about Juro Izumi. So he's dead? The Juro you knew no longer exists. Huh. There was nothing else we could do. Wait, the Juro you knew? You cannot go near him. But... It's for his own good. What happened to him? No, wait! <laughs> Juro! Huh? This is the school you attend. They wiped his memories. It is? We head back to the nurse's office. Now. Right, yeah, no, no mm, I forgot. To take your That's why he got confused when his name was changed. Stop. You have to stay away. He's Juro Karabe now, not Juro Izumi. I don't understand. He is not the same person. Giving him a new identity was the only way to save him. That can't be possible. It was the only way. Save him from I'm what? Sure he would agree. It had to be done. So for now, you need to stay away. At this point, he is still very unstable. Trust me, you're doing this for him. Hmm. Oh. 
Do we follow him? Oh. We're being judged by the cat. That fluff. You're that kitty from before. Is this a recon agent? I'm a cat, not a kitty. Oh. What? All right, settle down. No need to make a scene. People are going to start to think you're crazy. That cat just... Talk to me? <laughs> I like that stance. I wasn't imagining it. This cat is talking to me. That's stupid. Cats can't talk. You might want to try thinking before you speak. Aren't you supposed to be smart, Megumi Yakushiji? How do you know my name? I know everything about you. You're the one who called me, after all. Um... I... did? She yes. did? And now I'm here to grant you your wish. Cat genie. Your wish to save Juro Izumi. <laughs> Looks like I hit the nerve. So yeah, I can do it. I can get his memories back. Don't believe me? Oh, of course you wouldn't. It does sound too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, I don't go around granting wishes for free. In exchange, I need you to do something for me. After you agree to a binding contract, that is. Hmm. Time to check the terms and conditions. Hmm. Assuming this isn't a dream. Or a hallucination. Or some kind of cruel joke. What exactly would I need to do for you? I come from another world. One that was destroyed. Destroyed by a relic of an ancient civilization. Is he an alien? Ah. Oh. It spreads like a nasty curse, and has begun to infect this world too. I must find all the codes and set things right again. That is my mission, and the no big deal job you get to do. Huh. Interesting. Why do I suspect he's not really a cat? If it's or so easy, the girl's you mad. Do it yourself? You're not serious, are you? In case you haven't noticed, I'm a cat. You really want to leave the fate of the world to a cat? Probably not. If I screw up, you're dead too. You're only damning yourself if you refuse. Hmm. I mean, I guess we got to accept. A contract with a cat. Are you going to turn me into a magical girl or something? Well, I am curious to see what this is all really about. And more importantly, who's behind it? I can come play with you for a bit after school, okay? Just because you're so cute. Sure, make fun. Just the fate of the world that's at stake. There's nothing impossible about it. <sighs> All right, I'll give you some time to think about it. I suppose it's a good thing you're skeptical. Would you, so yeah. Some idiot who believes everything she hears. Right? Make no mistake. You will accept my contract. I think I did. It's just a matter of time. Uh. Okay. We were following Juro, right? If it really is true. And there is a way to bring back Juro. Then I'd make a deal with the devil if I had to. Hmm. Worrying statement. Okay. 
way five. Coming in almost dead. That one's probably a high quad. Tommy, why are you? What are you so surprised about? This is my sentinel, isn't it? Seriously, Megumi, I wish you'd just told me. I have to apologize. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't be. Look, there's only one thing I want an apology for. I got that switch because you shot me, right? Got a switch. Did you have to put it on my back? I'm gonna give myself a cramp swiping that thing. But you gotta fall back, Megumi. Your sentinel's at its limit. I'll handle this. No, Tommy. We'll fight together. Hey, Titan. I'm good, dude. How about you? Good. You're right. Okay, we can repair. That was an option on the menu. Of course, Nenji gets the Sentinel as well. Oh, she got out because she's dressed again. Uh, Mega me, that is. Fine, whatever. Just tell me which of these bozos I got to trash. The one with four legs, right in front of you. Right, so these are simplified. Yeah. Um. But your first generation Sentinel is perfect for close combat. How would you describe them? Not models. Simplified visualizations of, of the kaiju. This one's a big boy, apparently. Armored high quad. Missiles! Railgun! Summon? Oh! My sentinel's repairing. So I'm just on foot. And I have 200 HP, which means if I get bot, it's really going to suck. Why don't we get moving up there? Alright. Uh, stunner? It's not moving. So I guess we cannon it. 115 times 12. That's, that's our biggest hitter. Let's go for it. Damaging the shield. What do I do? Uh, rush attack. Eight hundred times four. Which is more damaging than that, but this is armor piercing. Ignores armor. We'll get in there. But he's fast, at least. Yeah. Armor down. Oh, no. Missiles. Are they going to catch her as she runs? Oh, no. She might be alright. Or she dies. We'll see. Okay, they repair quickly. Uh, okay, her thing's on her belly. I'm guessing. Make for a good TV show. 
Uh, when a HP reaches zero, it gets immobilized and kicks the pilot out. Starts repairing, and you gotta wait. Can easily be killed by mere explosion. All right, so really stay out of the way. Well, I got saved by um, the Sentinel coming back in time. That's a cool design. I like it. I like it. So, yeah, no Titanfall today, but we are still playing Titan-related gaming. Giant mechas. What do we got? Pulse lasers. Ignores armor. Oh, we're a helicopter flyer. Looking at that. Shield Matrix. Flare Torpedo. Let's try the lasers for now. Oh, wait, actually. We will, not lose. will that drop the missiles? Boom, it did. Pulse laser can't get that far. Flare torpedo also can't get that far. Oh, right, I'm a flyer, so it doesn't actually matter if I follow roads or anything. All right, move it up. Long range missiles, not long range enough. This isn't so hard. How do I know which is a f move meter? Maybe I just get to decide next turn if they keep moving that same way. I don't know. Number 16, I need to get things through. She moves real slow. Ignores armor, gets an area. Not getting the big ones at the back though. Need to move a little bit closer. Nowhere near enough for one of them. That's out of range. Does rush attack have more range? No. Go that way. I can see. I can see the line where uh, where uh, Kisaragi's moving. Ogata, like there maybe. Right. Well, that's getting him. Starts with the ones up front though. This is fine. Demolish. Get rid of that armor. Oh, it is moving. And it's firing missiles. Um. I think we can get those missiles, though, as it launches. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we can get all of them, hopefully. We'll try. Ah, oh, the other one launched a load, though. They don't seem to be targeted. Although we're in one of the circles. Do we jump over? Or do we just move in? Maybe we just move in. Cuddle time. Oh, that's in range. We could get the missiles. Do it. Our missiles go faster. Okay. What now? Wait. Thank you. No target available. Oh, right. Keep moving. We in there? We in there. In there like swimwear. 
Wait, did I just move in the way of the laser? Ah, poo. I think that gets them both. A little bit. Long range missiles. Let's go. Oh! All right, that was big damage laser beam. Don't stand in front of that. Okay. Yikes. All right. Be more aware of laser beams. Ah, uh, nuts. Oh, no, we good. We good. Aegis activated. They all vanished. What just happened? Aegis activation confirmed. That area is now secure. Hey, he's that second year. Renya Goto. He's from the future. And further into the future than me. So he's probably 64 rather than 24. When we're done with As in the year, not his age. What's this crepes obsession as well? Wouldn't miss it for the world. I mean, they're pretty good, but... Yakushiji, prepare to intercept. The deep forces have changed course. We won. Oh. Shoes turn. Right, so where's he from? This could be the 80s. Is that a Gundam in his bedroom? On the bookshelf at the back. Looks like. Next to a plane and a tank. Yo. Yep, 85. That's the gang from Curry High. What's going on there? Done talking. We're gonna settle this. Are they always trying to fight her? Trying to get a date? Amiguchi. Got nothing to do with you. Get out of here. Threatening a girl? Not a good look, man. You think these chumps are a threat to me? No, not at all. Really? Just another pack of posers. What? Gotta call in your punk friends to take me on? He ain't with us. Otherwise known as Tack of Curry High. One of the top dogs in the gang at Niga Curry Industrial School. Industrial School? Is that like... Training for, for manual job roles? engineering weird curious what an industrial school is you stay out of this sorry but you know i'm always on the lady's side you think she's gonna fall for that shit that's takamiya from suzu high wait the gang leader the one who beat all you guys up <laughs> no way i only trashed three of these clowns now it's payback time is it? Can't let some chick get away with disrespecting us. We got a reputation. How you doing? The name's Amiguchi. Back off, lover boy. Mm -hmm. Still running that mouth. Now come on. That What's your problem? Mouth. Hey, cut that out. Gonna get bodies. Last time I'm gonna say it, Amiguchi. Walk away. Yeah. Thought he was gonna run away then. Punch and run. News flash, buddy. I can't walk away from a cutie in trouble. Amiguchi. Time to go. Follow me. 
jump on the bike. He was going to run. Fair enough. Look at this cool guy. Hey, you going to be okay after that? What do you mean? Wajima, man. You know that guy's an amateur boxer, right? My days are numbered, huh? And yet he took that punch like a champ. Zero reflexes. Yeah, where's his helmet? Oh, I only had the one. Never mind. Although, was he wearing it before? Lady said no. I know it. Gogio Street, right? Big commercial district. What? You got a part-time job? Look, you want to make this an interrogation? I'm getting off. Ah. Okay, you win. I'll save the questions for later. Just hang on tight. We're going full throttle. I hope once we get out of the uh, the prologue, we get more well, gameplay. Not necessarily ride. loads more, but uh, more than we're getting. But your driving sucks, man. Hey, uh, you got a boyfriend? <laughs> oh, it, Smooth. No. Oh, cool. When do you start school? I'm transferring next week. Can't wait. <laughs> Smooth. Ride mode cycle. Nothing else. Can't follow her. Got that though. Man, she's cute. A bombshell like that sending those curry guys to the hospital. I've never met anyone like her before. I just might have fallen for her. Hmm. Man, she's cute. A bomb. I've never. I just. Off we pop then. Wait, what? Wait a minute. Oh. Miss Morimura. Think I got that right? I'm trying. I knew it. That was Miss Morimura. Hey. Shiki Shiki. Shikishima Industries. They're the ones who make ships and planes, right? And I guess in the future they make robots. What time is she going to be from? 2064? Maybe. Oh, okay. Guess that's it for the Type 98 bipeds. Turned out to be pretty useless in close combat. Wish I'd had some arms. Maybe then we'd stand a chance. Huh. Yeah, a big metal weaponized punching arm. Would have been great. Hopefully Kisaragi san and the others managed to escape. Is that her? As long as they got to the shifter gate, they should be okay. You realize how far we are from that gate. Too far for us to make it. Don't give up yet. That booty. Can you check that 98 over there? She thick. Pop the maintenance hatch. She's real thick. We're not out of options yet. I'm not surprised. You really think there's a point in fighting anymore? Not fighting. Escaping. <sighs> right. It was through shifting that we got the 98s into this era. So it could be linked to a shifter. It might just get us out of here. I've already input the shift coordinates. You disengage the auto control and switch to manual. Where are you going? We're going to need more power if we want to jump. I'll see if we can get it out of the downed 98. Hmm. Feed, huh? Looks like 
legs okay. Give me a power cable. Operational aside from the legs. I'm loving the variety of mecha design there. Hey, you might want to hurry up. Sounds like they iterations are part of the plot. They've taken the last mainframe. Cool to see. <sighs> We've lost. Wait. But it's not over yet. Listen. I've got just enough power to send you. Though also, I guess. Ready, you need to shift. What are you saying? No it's making me think of um into the breach. Mecca's time travel. Find me and tell me everything. Next time, Itakun. I know you'll find a way. Miss Morimura. Get teleported inside the robot. Ah, send the whole robot. Wait, what are those cracks in the sky letting light through? Is there a dome over the city? Is that holes in the shield? That dream again. That's definitely not how she usually looks. Hmm. But I know that was Ms. Morimura. Huh. A giant mecha, a ruined city, and a gorgeous teacher in a cat suit. Jeez. Two out of three of those are good. Watching too much anime. Yes. On the nose pointed out yeah. there. Again, gun down in the I background. Remember how the ground felt under my feet. That felt way too real. Oh, we've got a balcony and everything. This is a pretty swag apartment. those lyrics too oh she's that new idol been getting big lately can i play with my gundam let me can't reach it uh nothing 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 there ah turn off enough of that are these green and red things not for sound? If there's no sound output, I'm not going to worry about it. Oh. How did it turn itself back on? Huh. Is it broken? Oh. Now it's a drama. Late night TV gets weird. I've been looking for you for so long. Please help me. Shu Amiguchi. <gasps> You're the only one I can turn to, Shukun. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. Is this a hidden camera thing? <sighs> no. This is no TV show. Shukun. I'm talking to you through the TV. Please, save me. Miyuki Inaba. Okay. Episode 6. Who do we get this time? Goto has one. Which means Amiguchi and Takamiya, I presume. Uh, it's just Goto. We're going to have the terminal defend itself. I'll need your help. Screw you, buddy. Do it yourself. If I um. Notch on fast. There, I finally got through. There, yeah, she's here. Yuki-chan, it's me. Notchan, I'm glad you're safe. Wait, you got in? I thought I told you that thing was dangerous. 
She also has another giant robot. So glad to hear you're feeling so cooperative. That's safe as you can get. Are those enemies too? Oh, that's a lot. I've confirmed their position. Those are aerial dimos called hunters. Great. We got pretty cool design. They specialize in aerial mobility. Your rotor thing reminds me of something though. Air to air only. Amiguchi-kun, just collect the meta chips. They can expand our mech's functions and unlock new weapons. Meta chips. Handle this tech stuff, and I just kick the shit out of them. Oh boy, we all better watch out for her. I assume at some point we'll get more varied win cons. Uh. Oh, I didn't press a button. I should have pressed a button. Fuck. Let's... Oh, I'm moving her. And just she just shoots at everything in range. Except for things too close. Alright. Blam! What lived? No. Nice. Enemy down. Hmm. Is that armor boy? They're splitting up. Some of those guys look pretty tough. Okay, there's a lot of them, but it's They're using a flanking strategy. Should be alright though. She uh yeah, Yuki. Yuki seems to have some good moves. 100 EP, but that's, that's fine. Pierces Kaiju with a leg spike. And it shocks the fuck out of them. Interesting. Let's see that one again. The animation. Looked way... Way more missiles than that that I launched out. Uh... Where do we want to send her then? Up this way? There's a lot more little shits this way. I can't get everyone. So we'll just get as many as we can. Kablam! Oh, better on the small guys. Multi-lock missiles. I can't swap to anyone else. Oh, we're both flying. All right. We want to send you that way. Maybe one each. That gets for you. I'm in range. Take out the hunters. That easy. They've got the mobility. I will leave you for now. Could use that on the terminal, I guess, but we don't need to right now. All three of us are flying? Oh, I didn't realize. More multi-missiles? No. I kind of want to get these missiles out of the air, though. That gets that one. Let's do it. Using a lot of EP this round, but we haven't run out yet.
That gets two of them. That gets two of them. Twin tail. The all just twin tails. All right. Uh, yeah, let's get these two. Oh, I should have moved. Laser beam. Or some kind of shot coming at me. You're absolutely gonna move. Back. Can we do it again? Let's do that. We're not going to get hit by a missile because we took that out. Taking some hits. We want to, oh, we can get both there. Oh, and the missile. I think that gets all of them. Nice. Is yellow a crit? Or, or orange, rather? I don't know. Last 10 seconds. Hmm. Do I want to move first? Try and get a couple of them in one shot. I do. Let's get them. Oh, it still only gets one at a time. Well. That gets both of them. Oh, it doesn't. It might do. Oh, it kind of tramples through. Oh. Didn't catch that in time. Um, action. Do I go for the missile? It's only one missile. Let's get these. Stop them launching more shit. Oh, you're launching shit at me? That's how it is, huh? No. It's kind of ambling around in no obvious direction. Right, how about we take you out before you fire that shot? Yep. Enemy down. Stay on guard. Um. Yeah, I want to get both of you again. Oh no, I can't anyway. So I might as well just hit. Oh, I can. I can. Wider angle than I thought. Target destroyed. Still not used to this thing. No range. No fight. I can't win. Just go up there. Zoom in. Okay. What's the plan? Oh, we can get a hit. He's aiming at Goto. We should be alright there, though. There to be honest, I assume you'd have to play really bad to die in the prologue. That doesn't make it impossible. We've got to move. Can't reach. Fire more missiles again. We can keep those out of business. Oh, no, I didn't see the laser beam thing on the floor. Oh, he's going to get hurt quite a bit. Uh, let's get the molar. Mole, mole, mole. This isn't going to reach, is it? Nope. No so. Off you trot. Okay, oh, I want to try this. Let's overheat it. Oh, we can turn like that. Got it. 
Good damage. Stay on guard. Step one, move out of the way. Number 22. What's, optimal? What's optimal? Guns. Blam. Signal offline. Any more? There's more. Nope. They're done. What now? Aegis activated. Did it. I quite like this combat system though. Gotta say. I Sekigahara's story is now available. I think I'm gonna not be rushing. So Meta Chips 2141. We're getting meta chips. Huh. Alright. And a mystery point. 1562. What are these percentages? Alright. Well, yeah, that's going to do us for this afternoon. Uh, I plan on coming back this evening. I'm going to try Factorio. Um, I think it might be the kind of long-term zen with... No story or people to worry about, things like that. Um, the automation. I don't know. Friends have been trying to get me to play it for a while. And I heard somebody else describing it. And that seems to have unlocked a bit of my brain that was like, yeah, I could enjoy that. Uh, so, yeah, that's the plan. That'll be around 7, 8 o'clock-ish. Gives me plenty of time to chill. Watch some more Division. I have one episode left. I won't spoil it, but one episode left. Um, yeah, and chill and eat and all that good stuff. So, have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your day. If I don't catch you again, we'll be back tomorrow with more of this. Uh, this is going to be the afternoon game for at least the rest of the week. So, yeah, have a good one. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.